So when we do hip extension, we want to put one hand on the dog's back to prevent the dog from arching back. And we want to come in as close as possible to the hip joint. So he'll bring the hand that's going to do the work close in and we'll slowly extend the hip back. Again, this hand is preventing the dog from arching back or moving. We'll keep it straight. And I don't have a lot of pressure here, just enough to block it. And we'll move back and we're gonna hold the stretch for about 15 to 20 seconds. And that's gonna elongate the hip flexors, also a little bit of the quadricep, and as well as that iliopsoas in there. When we work on hip flexion, we're going to bring the foot up towards the head and we'll give her a minute to relax <coughs> and she's a little bit nervous so I don't want to force anything here I just want to let her go with it and try to get her to relax and sometimes when you're stretching your dog you may notice that they push against you a little bit and that's okay it's actually a technique in people called contract and relax so we can let her push and then when she relaxes, she'll actually stretch a little bit more. Hip abduction moves the hip out. So we're just coming outward and getting, and the knee could bend or straighten there. 